Hello, my name's Artemis, and obviously bullshit is a thing that we face in everyday fucking life, and it is absolutely everywhere and inescapable. But it's not all doom and gloom, because there are actually ways to cope and deal with it, if you know how. And obviously you probably already gathered that's exactly what we're going to be talking about this week, so let's waste no more time and just get stuck in. So sometimes when you're on the little road to find the things that you really like, you just breeze on straight past those red flags that tell you, whoa, holy shit, don't go fucking near this shit, okay? Danger. And yeah, unfortunately it is a reality of life that sometimes when you find something so amazing, there's little bits of shit hidden within it. You can have these friendship groups that have toxic people in them. People who are out just for themselves and just general assholes. That's just the way it fucking works and it sucks. Oh yeah, bye, bye, it's nice to see you. Jesus, thank God they're gone, what a bunch of fucking cunts, oh my God. Did you see what they were wearing? Oh my God, what a fucking prophetic little dick. Is it, oh, oh yeah, no, 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 not talking about you, obviously. Oh, oh yeah, I know, I know. They were talking to me all privately the other day and they, they were telling me what turns them on and I was like, oh, I won't tell anybody, but yeah, it's some weird shit, so basically, Okay guys, guys, I know you're having a conversation, but I'm having a bad day, so can we just make this all about me, please? Okay, shut up, shut up, it's about me now. Now that may paint a very bleak picture, but it is very easy to fall into these patterns when you find something that you really like. You see, sometimes with all the good comes all the shit and you end up falling into that terrible trap of, you know, echo chambers that just allow you to keep repeating shitty patterns and, you know, toxic people demanding that everybody conforms to them and harsh punishments for non-conformists. No, oh, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You haven't done anything wrong ever at all. You don't need to change. Stay exactly the way you are. Yeah, well, we all like this thing, so... Uh, you, you don't? You don't? Shun! Shun! Shun the outsider! But yes, it's one of those shitty parts of life that you do have to go through as part of the learning process, but you can deal with it and you can learn how to deal with it as well. It all comes down to simple little things such as, I don't know, learning the difference between helping and enabling. And I mean, <clears throat> we did a video on that shit, so maybe check it out. Because uh, that can really, really help because if you're enabling someone, that's bad. But it's even worse if they're enabling you. Like, if you have these bad habits and they're starting to enable what you do and keep those habits going, then you want to get the fuck away from that. And there is also the hard part of trying to figure out what exactly is worth putting up with and what's not. You know, do you really want to put up with some of this shit or do you want to just get the fuck away from it? Sometimes you've got to just pinch that turd off and flush, you know? Oh, I don't think it's going to be a surprise or a shock to anyone if I say that, you know, people are dicks. Generally, the general public are just basically a bunch of cunts that are more than willing to just kick off and explode and vent their furious anger at the slightest fucking transgression, for God's sake. They're just a bunch of arrogant assholes. God, are you just going to hurry up, please? Okay, I've been standing here for like six seconds now and I demand instant gratification! Yes, hello. Um, I'm, I'm looking for some things in your shop today. Um, just to warn you as well, I'm having a really shit day and that's about to be everybody in here's problem, okay? To borrow a quote from Mark Twain, you cannot argue with stupid people because they will just drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. And my fucking God, is that the fucking truth? This is just the way it fucking goes. Quite frankly, they're just not worth the effort, are they? They're just not worth your breath or your attention or any of that shit. And you've got to sort of see them as, you know, damaging wildfires that are just looking to destroy, just looking to cause fucking pain. And anything you do is just pouring gasoline onto it, just pissing that all over it and the fire's getting worse. The only thing you can really do is just starve it of oxygen and leave that shit to burn itself out. Or, you know, even better, just be as happy and smiley and helpful as possible and just do the best to take the moral high ground and watch them shrivel because they know they look like cunts under that public peer pressure. Yes, I'm very sorry you feel that way, sir, but could I just draw your attention to uh, to all of these people over here that are just sort of watching you act like a petulant three-year-old throwing a tantrum? Like, you see them? Yeah? They're on my side right now, okay? I could call you a cunt and slap you, and I'd probably get a round of applause. So, probably best to just turn around and, you know, fuck off. 
You see, coping with this one's pretty difficult because it does actually entail swallowing your pride and not, you know, taking the bait. Um, you have to just basically just reevaluate. You know, is it worth arguing? Are they actually arguing to try and convince you or are they just being a, you know, angry cunt trying to have a go at someone to vent their fucking mood? You know, anything you say, is it really going to make any difference or is it in your best interests to just hurry this conversation along and get them out of your life as soon as fucking possible? Because ultimately, they don't matter. They don't exist in your plane of reality. When they turn around, you ain't going to remember their fucking face. They're going to disappear out of your life and be nothing but a fucking anecdote that you can deliver at weddings about how fucking stupid the general public are. So it's simple. Don't instigate. Don't argue. Just get the fuck out of there as soon as possible. Just do whatever you can to get them to fuck off out of your life. Ah yes, the real shit. The shit that we're not going to just poke a load of jokes in. The stuff that's really hard. The anxieties, depressions, the paranoias. And these are things that we are all unfortunately going to deal with. And they can be very hard to deal with as well. But there are little strategies you can use to get through them. And unfortunately, sometimes you've got to have a little bit of tough love. And just, well, basically stop hiding behind excuses. Because, hey, I did the same thing. It's really easy to just hide behind the excuse of, oh, I'm a bit busy now, oh, I'm not ready now, oh, I don't think the help will actually help me. Shut the fuck up, swallow your pride, and fucking do it already, okay? You're always going to be able to find a reason why you can't do something. Start finding reasons why you can. It's all about DIY. You've got to do it yourself because nobody is going to do it for you. Nor should they, nor even could they. It's not even possible. You are the one who's in control of all this stuff. And you have to be the one who's also responsible for it as well. It's about getting the help as quickly as possible. Not putting it off, not waiting and seeing, but actually taking that step forward. Finding what works for you. Just because it works for other people doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be perfect for you. And sticking with it. And finding those things and keeping them going. That's, that's what you got to do. you got to treat the cause and not the symptom. And you've got to learn that sometimes you need to hear the harsh truths rather than just someone saying, oh, it's okay. Like, the sympathy is good up to a point, but it can be very dangerous if you're not actually doing anything about your problems. And sometimes you just need a bit of a kick up the ass. I know I did. No one ever wants to deal with it. Everybody just wants to sort of be, you know, comforted in these times. And that is very valuable. It's very good to have that support. But there comes a time where, yeah, you do kind of just need to get shit sorted. Start treating the causes rather than the symptoms. You know, if you're st suddenly becoming very anxious about these situations, then we evaluate whether you need to be in them. If you're becoming very depressed about your, you know, position in life, then perhaps try and evaluate what you can do to get into a better situation and start working towards it. It doesn't have to be one gargantuan, massive, insurmountable mountain of tasks. You can break it down into small little steps and start clawing your way out. Just, just do it. You just gotta put the work in. It sucks, it's shitty, it's horrible, I know. And your brain is shit and wrong and horrible because it tells you that you can't do it, but you can and you will. And you will look back on it all and go, wow, holy shit, I'm so strong, I did that, wow. You deserve it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to do this. I, I order you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you did enjoy this one. We're trying to keep things nice and short and sweet because we've been pumping out some real fucking long videos which were a bit of a struggle to get through. So hopefully this was a bit more condensed. I guess we'll find out in the edit. But yes, I hope you did enjoy it and I hope this advice is also entertaining as well as being, you know, actually helpful for some people because it does seem like a stage of life where you're a little bit fucking clueless. Um, I think it's called the 20s. So yeah, that's the time when you learn all of this shit. But hopefully you did find it entertaining and hopefully you would look at this merchandise. Go and buy it. All of it. Just it's really easy. You just add it all to cart, pay, and it will get shipped out to you. And it's great, it's wonderful stuff. So if you could all just do that now. I'm not even asking anymore, just do it. Seriously. I'll wait. Well, that was a little bit forceful, but okay, I guess I get the sentiment. Jesus. But yes, thank you for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. You didn't take offence to that very forceful indication to buy some merch. What the fuck? Um, but yes, this is some honest advice again, because you know, that's, that's pretty much what we do. We're just life coaches at this fucking stage, aren't we? But hey, at least it's not another list video. Well, uh, oh shit, that's next week. No, oh, bollocks. But yes, hopefully you did enjoy it and you found it all entertaining and all of that shit. And if you did, if you did really enjoy our stuff and you've checked out some of the other stuff, maybe, just maybe, you would like to support us. 
Oh god, we plug this every week, don't we? And I don't think anybody's even watching at this stage, but uh, I mean, I could just get away with saying whatever I want, I guess. Um, but I'm not going to. So, you know, if you want to hear what I have to say, then hey, get on the Patreon and come and ask me. There you go. That's, that's bribery, that's blackmail. Oh, that's enough begging for now. Okay, have a good week, I guess. Bye.